G'day, good day to you sir, and how the bloody hell are you? It is Cracker Fruity, and today I'm playing some Battlefield 3 using the M5K. Now the reason I'm using this gun is because I keep hearing about how damn good it is. And to be honest, when I first got the gun, I gave it a run. It had a little 25 round clip, it kind of gave me the shits, and I never spared it another thought. But I am led to believe that it got a buff in, I think not the last patch, but the one prior. And I logged on about a week ago, had a bit of a run with it, did enjoy it a bit, unlocked a few attachments for it, and this is where I'm at. Now if you haven't used the gun before, I strongly recommend using the extended mag, and obviously the sight or the scope itself is entirely up to you, but the extended mag is a must. Now as far as the gameplay itself goes, I haven't been playing a lot of Battlefield 3 of late. It's predominantly been either Medal of Honor over on the Xbox, or, uh, or quite a lot of Borderlands 2. And as I'm sure a lot of you will be able to relate to, the hardest thing about flicking between games constantly is trying to get your trying to get your eye in, and uh, generally it takes a few games. I almost didn't record this gameplay at all, but I decided I would, and I'm glad I did because it was a really fun game. I had a lot of fun. It's probably not my best gameplay. I did die more than I would like to, but some of my deaths, the way I died, was pretty funny. I couldn't help but laughing at myself. I'd uh, you know I'd line the shot up perfectly. And, and just as I'd start firing, go to make a small adjustment with the left stick, and next thing you know, I was waving the gun around like some frat boy waving his dick in the bus window. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I couldn't help but laugh, so I'd, I'm really glad I recorded it, as I say, because uh, yeah, I did have a lot of fun with it. Right, now, what was I talking about? I, I've distracted myself thinking of uh, getting drunk and waving my penis in the bus window at passerbyers. Anyway, yes, the gun, the M5K. What, what do I think of it? Well, it's actually pretty good. They were right. The people that reckon it's a good gun is right. And you'll see in this clip a couple of times, like, as bad as my aim could be and as much as I was waving the gun around, uh, I was putting people down pretty quick. It doesn't take a lot of shots. Uh, it has a fairly high rate of fire. The recoil is really good. And, uh, yeah, it, it is a good gun. And if you haven't had a go at it like I hadn't, it's, it's pretty good. And if you want to use the recon class and you're not the best sniper. I'm, I don't mind admitting I'm not the best sniper. I pretty much get body shots flat out. And the problem is, especially if you're using a bolt action, uh, if you don't get those headshots, you don't get the kill. It's as simple as that. But if you are looking to uh, level up your sniper class, or any class for that matter, um, then this is a great gun to, to do that with, without having to use an actual sniper rifle. See, so this little bit here was funny. I got stuck in the corner, ended up going for the triple feed, got two quick revives, and finally... My luck run out. Pretty funny there, mucking around the corner. But anyway. And this bit here, I popped up the stairs, was getting shot in the back, turned around, had a bit of a flailing shot, and I couldn't see him. Quickly switched to my pistol, put the health back down, I thought, I've got you with my full auto. Look at that. Runs around the corner, puts me down like a noob. And uh, got towed up here, but then popped straight back in the same area. One's down. I see you still, not shooting at me. And suck it, bitch. You're dead. Also, just a quick point I'd like to make with this particular map. Uh, it's obviously a fairly cluttered map. There's a load of obstacles and walls and poles and all sorts of things that you've got to try and negotiate around. I see so many guys just running between objectives, taking the most obvious path. And that's often when you get yourself into a bit of trouble because you'll, you'll come around a corner and you'll be head on head versus someone else, maybe two, maybe three people. And even if you can take the first guy or the first two guys out, often there's uh, there's more waiting, and uh, that's when you can end up dying. So my my little tip is to take the non-obvious route. Don't always go the way that people would expect. If there's a pole in front of you, maybe walk around it. Um, the amount of kills I got on this map and get on this map simply from uh, from running around corners and stuff like that, and taking the less obvious route. Um, on, on way, I can't decide if I'm going to call it route or route. Route sounds better, so let's go with route. Uh, but, yeah, that's my little tip for the day anyway, for whatever it's worth. Now, as much as I'd like to show you the entire game, it did go for about 20 minutes, so I'm not going to make you sit through that. Um, but, anyway, the game is wrapping up, and I finish off with a bit of a montage. Well, it's not a montage. I don't know why I'd call it a montage. But, anyway, it's a bunch of my kills and my deaths, uh, just to wrap the game up, show you how it all went. 
and uh, and that's the end of it but anyway thank you for watching if you are new to my channel then please do hit subscribe I'll have plenty more Battlefield 3 videos coming up as well as some Medal of Honor once that's released uh, I've also got some already on the channel so do check that out and if you enjoyed the video I always appreciate a like and I'll catch you guys next time